Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 12 in chapter 27. Chapter 27 is about magnetism. So there we look at this system. We have a circular loop of wire. The radius is R, current is I, and then it is placed in a magnetic field dense. And we can see this magnetic field dense is a little bit difficult, right? We can see it is just uh, diverge from a point a distance d from below the loop. So this is how it looks like. When we solve it, wow, it's difficult, but we can do it. Let's do it together. We can see, we look at this plane for this loop, we just draw it, right, in this way. And this is x direction. This is a y direction. This is a z direction, right? And then we can see for at this point, just at this point, at this point, we can see magnetic field dense is in the yz plane with angle theta. Do you agree? Yes. In yz plane and angle theta with z direction, right? Yes. And then we can consider this is a small fraction of length as a DL, okay? And the DL, you can see in this uh, point, it is get in, right? Get in. So this is a ne negative I direction, negative I direction. So we write it there. And then we can see the B, the magnetic field that's in the YZ plane, we can write it in the vector format, right? So project it in the Y, axis is B sine theta and then K axis is the B cosine theta, right? Yes. Now we can calculate the magnetic force on this small fraction of wire DL, the current I get in as I DL cross B, right? This is the definition of our textbook. Now we input the DL and the B inside, do the calculation, I DL and B get out, right? So we find it looks like this way. So it looks like this force has a J component, this is a Y, and also has a K component, right? Then we look at the J component. Now we can project this DF at the Y component and the negative Z component this way, right? And in the opposite direction there, we can see it also has the Y component and the Z component. Do you agree? And this, uh, Y component, Y component can be cancelled for this loop, right? Mirror symmetry. So we just look at the key component. Do you agree? Yes. So we just look at the key component. So the sine theta can be write as R squared R squared plus D squared. So this is a sine theta, right? This is D. This is R. And this length, this length is a squared r squared plus d squared, right? And then we do the integral for L. So this uh, whole loop should be 2 pi r, right? The length for the whole tube, whole loop is the 2 pi r. We organize it, we get answer there. Thank you.